All right. So uh, my bad about that. Uh, I believe the audio uh, had an issue. I didn't have the microphone connected. But um, as you can hear in the background, I have a uh, Lego Star Wars All Star on. We were watching the holiday special a second ago. I think I got my son really into it, which was uh, kind of inter interesting. Um, but today we have um, a lot of Blu-ray Tuesday movies coming out today, a lot of new ones coming out today. So we have a lot to get through. So we're going to get started right now. So happy Blu-ray Tuesday to you. And let's do this. <laughs> All right, so I'm here. I'm all ready uh, to go with uh, Blu-ray Tuesday, and I'm really excited uh, today um, because today uh, we have a good amount of new movies, new Blu-rays coming out today. So this is really, really cool. I also have my uh, green light shirt here. Um, if you check out in the links in the description below, you're going to see a link that says merch, and you could purchase this shirt and many more on uh, the green light uh, um uh, Teespring website. So we have uh, Corazon de Cuba 2 uh, shirts as well, which I also have links in the description below, which I should actually put in the description below the link to the Amazon Prime release for my uh, documentary. So I've been kind of quiet when it came to unboxing on uh, movies and stuff like that. So I have one he I have a uh, about three of them that I'm supposed to get through um, very, very soon. But uh, before this, I'm expecting on Friday, this Friday, to have uh, the New Mutants um, delivered here this Friday. So I'm hoping I can do an unboxing of that one by Friday or do an unboxing um, before the, the end of this weekend. So let me know in the, descript in, the, in the comments below or in the live chat if you're interested in that and I'm excited to do that and do an unboxing and giveaway for the new mutants. So with all that being said, let's get started here and um, let's talk about uh, new mutants. Um, before we get started, please hit the, the subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you know more about these types of um, videos that I do every week, which I do just like this one every week of um, release videos of Blu-rays every Tuesday. We also talk about uh, release of videos that are happening on this channel. Um, my son's here, so he probably wants to say something. You want to say hello? Oh, look, are you eating, you eating a chicken fry? Doing good, you want to say hi? You duty? Yeah. Your duty? <laughs> you already did duty. You already poopy. Okay. Hey, are you liking the Star Wars, Lego Star Wars? Mm. Yeah, you like the Lego mm. and Star Wars? You're doing really good in the chicken. Go finish it, and I'll bring you some milk. Okay? Sounds good. I got a plan for him. I left some in the refrigerator just for him. Um... Be careful with the chicken fries, though, okay? You want milk? You can go to the refrigerator. I have milk for you. Go ahead. Go to the refrigerator, and you can get your milk. Go ahead. Go ahead, try it. <laughs> so, like I said, uh, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. I'm a father. I'm a filmmaker, independent filmmaker, and, um, and a husband, and... Uh, we do a lot of like Blu-ray and movie talks here. Uh, me and my wife are huge fans of television film. So we talk a lot. I, well, I talk a lot about it here, um, about what me and her talk about and um, what I'm interested here on this channel. And it definitely when it comes to filmmaking itself. So um, we do talk about the Blu-ray special features. So we're going to go ahead and start with the first one. I apologize leaving... Um, the subscribe button thing here for too long let me show you the new mutants so the blu-ray of new mutants gonna look like this in the front cover and I also have um, the 4k as well here wow it's kind of loud the Star Wars in the background so sorry about that uh, um, just uh, forgive me on that um, and forgive my son on that one too. Uh, he's kind of enjoying it. And I haven't had him interested in anything Star Wars yet. So this is the first time. And he's four. So, But he loves Legos. Everything Legos. And I told him everything Legos is awesome. 
you know, and you could do anything, any genre lay, in Legos, and it's awesome. What's the matter, man? Oh, okay, that's okay. Okay, I'll go clean it up, okay? Go ahead, sit down. Just finish your chicken and finish your milk, okay? All right, it's okay, I clean it. <laughs> so this is um, the front cover of the 4K of Blu-ray release, and then there's also uh, the regular Blu-ray. Okay, no whining, though. I'll come and clean it. I'm coming. And as you see there, they look kind of similar to... Um, um, most of uh, the Disney Blu-ray releases and stuff like that. But give me one second. I'm going to lower this too and, uh, and, and clean up this thing real fast. Go ahead and leave any comments in the live chat and I'll give you a shout out at the end of this video. Thank you. My son is so amazing. I think most parents say that kind of stuff, but I, I, I really truly believe my son is amazing. So um, with all that being said, yeah, I'm definitely going to purchase this film on Blu-ray, which I already did. Um, I bought it through Target, so I believe it should be here by Friday, they said. So depending, I do work Friday, so depending on how soon it shows up, I may or may not uh, film, uh, uh, like, uh, shoot that, uh, 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 that little show of, uh, the unboxing for this, um, so, um, I was really hoping it could be released on Friday, if not, I'll have, uh, something released on Friday, if not, it would be Sicario, which I'm gonna film after this, I'm planning on just, uh, trying to unbox all these right after, um, right after the Blu-ray release video, so there will be uh, an unboxing uh, coming out for this Friday, so expect that. Um, and uh, moving on here, as far as when it comes to the back end here, since this is a release um, that's been, um, well, this movie has been trying to be released, uh, they've been trying to release this film, like, I don't know how many times already, and so many release dates, and then quarant the quarantine of COVID and everything really destroyed that. Um, so this movie amongst other movies that we're going to be talking about today, especially the movie right after this, have gone through a lot of um, things when it came to COVID as far as it being released. So The New Mutants was released in theaters recently um, after the whole lockdown. And after the first wave of the lockdown and everything like that, uh, we didn't have it, um, movie theaters started to slowly ramp up and have uh, some new movies, um, including The New Mutants and I believe uh, this next movie that we're going to talk about, which is Unhinged. So with that being said, there's not any, um, like a lot of special features, but I do have a back end here and I'm going to introduce that right now. I do have a back end here. This is, um, I believe, uh, an overseas um uh, like an, uh, an overseas back end of the Blu-ray for the New Mutants, but I um, I strongly believe that the special feature is going to be more or less the same since there's not a lot of them. So I'm going to zoom in real quick here and let me know in the comments below on the playback if you uh, do. Well, the great thing is that um, when I do unbox this film, um, hopefully by Friday I, I unbox this film. Um, uh, I will already know if uh, the, the, these uh, bonus features are included in the American version or not. So I'm really expecting it to be like this. So I'm going to fade in here real quick, um, the back end. And uh, what we got here is uh, deleted scenes. We got origins and, uh, and influences. That's pretty cool. So we have two little special features of, on, uh, on here. So we have uh, the meet the meet the new mutants. Um, so I guess um, we're gonna meet 
all the characters on here and origins and influences um betting is more on the storyline and the storyline of each character and um coming from uh, comic books into into uh live action um so hi mommy you say hi you say hi mommy logan yeah oh he yeah that's after he finishes his chicken i told you you get more milk you get a pat pad you gotta finish all your chicken fries and you gotta finish the chicken fries just like the lego star wars robots they do the same thing they gotta finish and eat all their stuff i guess drink their fuel and all that <laughs> i love you baby um so i'm expecting these two not to be uh all that long um this movie was also um uh delayed due to the transition and uh the transition of power i would get i would say between 20th century fox and uh disney um as you can see the blu-ray uh packaging on this uh is very similar to um a disney um uh, blu-ray packaging or 4k packaging um as well so i'm expecting these two things to be no more than 15 20 minutes each um and talking about those things the origins origins and influences is very um uh, noticeable as far as what you're going to expect on that and uh, talking about the marvel comics and talking about the backstories of these characters within the x-men universe and then um, meet the new mutants uh, most likely could talk more about that or the actors as well and how the actors um uh you know, uh, how, what they like about their characters and just getting into their characters with uh, these actors as well. So we got another thing and we're going to move on from here. Um, and we have the steel bookcase here. I'm going to take a little bit of coffee right now. As I said, thank you for everybody being patient here. Um, we have a lot of Blu-rays here today. Um, so this is only the first of them. So this is a limited edition steelbook case um, for the New Mutants. I didn't purchase this one myself having not seen the movie. Um, it looked very, very good. And I'm a huge X-Men fan. And I'm a fan of X-Men trying to do something different and make a little gothic horror type thing going on with this film. Um, and uh, I'm really excited to check it out, actually. So um, let's see. Um, so this is the front cover, the front slip cover where you get the spine and everything on there, too. And you see it there. And then I'm going to fade in inside when you open it. And this is what it looks inside, and it just comes with a DVD and a Blu-ray. Um, I think it's a Blu-ray and a, and a Blu-ray 4K, actually, my bad. Uh, and then, um, so both of those are in there, and then in the Blu-ray and 4K, they I believe they both include the special features, but they're more uh, Blu-ray uh, special type uh, special features as far as specs goes when it, com uh, when it comes to the special features. So um, this is now where I'm going to show you the back end here. And this is the back part of it, which is really cool. Has a little X in the back there. Very, very nice slip cover. Very simple slip cover. It looks very nice. Simple uh, simplicity is best when it comes to um, uh, these uh, these steelbook covers and stuff like that. So it has a slip. I think it has a little slip thing, like it was in the front of it. But that's like a Best Buy thing when it comes to special features and all that. As well so I'm gonna move on from this film and we're gonna talk more about it when it comes to the unboxing so expect that here on Friday hopefully Friday if not there will be an unboxing giveaway either way uh, to make up for it uh, which will be Sicario so expect that hit the notification bell hit the subscribe button so you know about the, that film so don't forget about that and check out the description below I have IMDB links for the new mutants so if you haven't seen the trailer haven't seen anything about it and want to know who these actors are and what movies they're coming from you could check them out in the description below right here and uh, check them out on IMDB um, everything I do here on this channel hopefully sticks to uh, an educational type thing when it comes to uh, Blu-rays. Um, always big, uh, always been a fan of physical media all my life. Um, when it comes to DVDs, collecting DVDs, I have 
a lot of DVDs. So I had a lot of Blu-rays too, but I've been trying to um, kind of, in a way, I guess, replace replace a lot of um, DVDs uh, and Blu-rays that I had um, left back in LA. And um, uh, it just is cheaper. Those things are expensive as far as like um, uh, trying to ship things like that in a box. So um, just understand that when you're shipping anything over, um, you know, uh, from state to state too, it's just too expensive as far as weight goes because it goes all, all on the weight. Um, so this is unhinged here that we're talking about now and we're going to get into unhinged and unhinged was released also with new mutants into theaters as well as one of the movies that uh was released after um uh, the whole a uh, covid lockdown so i've heard some interesting and good things about this film it reminds me a lot of russell crowe um things that people talked about in the news back in the day with him hitting people with somebody with a phone or something i don't i could forget about that uh so i don't really usually talk about drama and stuff like that here but this looks really big um big production and um it's a Lionsgate film i don't have the back end here so i'm not expecting too much to come from this movie um and its release uh, mainly because of uh going through covid and being released in theaters really fast and then you know, now into physical media all of a sudden really quick as well. So um, expect this movie out today in the stores or anywhere um, you can find Blu-rays or wherever you shop for Blu-rays. Um, nowadays, I usually just go online and purchase everything. I'm trying to make sure that uh, all the vaccines are out uh, since um, I have my son and family and keeping everybody safe. So I hope everybody else out there is safe and being safe uh, with their family, especially since um, Thanksgiving is coming up soon. So with all that being said, I'm going to move on to the next film. And before I do, Unhinged has a, a link in the description below to IMDb. So you can check out the trailer, check out Russell Crowe, check out all the, the filmmakers and everybody that worked on this film. Even uh, sometimes uh, on IMDb, you can check out the technical specs too. check out what kind of cameras they used on this film so that's always very cool i did it on uh on corazon de cuba i did it on my uh on my uh documentary as well that you can find on on imdb which i believe is in the description below i may end up editing it um within uh, today and tomorrow and uh and include uh the um the imdb well the imdb link and the amazon prime link as well so i'm hoping for that Everything okay, Logie? Yeah. You having fun? We're gonna play in a little bit, okay? So don't worry. You finished your chicken fries? Okay. Um, so we're gonna move on to this next film. Words on Bathroom Walls. So Words on Bathroom Walls is uh, released today. Lionsgate, it's a fresh, certified fresh from Rotten Tomatoes. So it's an independent film out today looks like kind of like a love movie but you can check it out in the imdb links in the description below that i have where you can check out the trailer excuse me sorry i'm burping <laughs> get a little gassy with food um uh so uh you could check in the description below imdb links where you can find out about this film find out more with the trailer find out about the actors and all the movies they've worked on before and including maybe even technical specs on this and usually when it comes to like independent movies that don't have back ends and don't have um you know their special features making ofs uh there's not a lot of information sometimes even in those making ofs uh, for these independent films. So sometimes you have to go um, on IMDb, uh, read interviews uh, or watch interviews or listen to podcast interviews um, to find out information on how they made these feature films. So um, I'm hoping that helps you, um, you know, find out more information about these feature films and um, how they can help you as an independent filmmaker too. Uh, a lot of times they do these things and they put the information out there so you can have them, they're ed educational, so that you could have it and put it towards your independent film or um, independent short film. Either way, <laughs> works. Uh, so our next film here, um, we're going to move on as a horror film, 
And a lot of these that I'm talking about now don't necessarily have a back end with special features. So I'm going to kind of get through them uh, fairly quick. We're about hitting uh, close to the 20 minute mark in about 30 seconds. So well, this film here is Relic and it's an IMDb, it's a IMDb uh, independent film channel release, a midnight uh, releasing uh, Relic. And I've actually heard some great things about this film as far as rigi uh, original, uh, originality when it comes to um, indie horror films. So check this out in the description below. I have IMDb links for the trailer and everything like that. If you haven't heard about this film, I highly recommend checking out the IMDb links and checking it out for yourself. Um, this is a new movie, brand new movie that just came out today. Um, all these are new movies that came out today for 2020 Blu-ray Tuesday release. <laughs> so um, check it out in, in the description below. And let me know in the live chat or in the comments if you did check out this movie, if you know anything about it. And let's have a conversation about it. So I'm going to move on to our next one. And I saw this trailer too. I've seen all these trailers of all these movies. But um, this one um, kind of stood out at me a little bit. 2067. And it's because, yes, I am a sucker for sci-fi films. And I'm sure a lot of movie, a lot of people are especially nowadays since we're we're 2020 and this is like 2067 and, and uh, we already surpassed some of the olders like the older films like the older sci-fi films like um, the Blade Runner and uh, Back to the Future 2 with 2015 we already surpassed you know Back to the Future 2 so you know um, you know I, I don't know I'm just a sucker for these films and um, they have a lot of uh, um, you know, it, it comes from a place of reality into a fantasy type, you know, future type um, film. So sci-fi fantasy type of stuff I'm really interested in. So I love Star Wars and all that kind of stuff. This one's really cool. Um, it looks like uh, they're taking the post-apocalyptic um, future and they're taking the future future and they're combining them together and they're putting um, a whole... Uh, time travel spin on it with this guy here a uh, Cody Smith uh, McPhee so Cody Smith McPhee you've seen him many times in little uh, when he was younger and like um recently in Dawn of the Planet of the Apes and then uh he was in Let Me In which was uh, a remake for Let the Right One In I believe it's a kids vampire film and then um not a kids movie but a uh, vampire films about kids um but it's an adult film and then um and many, many things coming from that as well. Logan, did you finish your, your, finish your chicken fries? Yeah. Oh, let me see here. Okay, yes, you did. You did. Good. I just wanted to make sure he wasn't pulling a fast one. So uh, I figured he was trying to pull a fast one. Sorry about that, everybody. <laughs> just making sure he eats before he gets the iPad. Uh -huh. If many parents out there are hearing this know the struggle, let me know in the comments below. <laughs> I'm sure me and my wife will love to hear about it. <laughs> um, so this film's out right now. You can check in the IMDb links in the description below um, for the trailer, for um, the filmmakers and everything like that. This has um, filmmakers that have worked on some big films too. So this works very well um, when it comes to a big um, Blu-ray release this week on Tuesday today. So this was really good. So check it out. You can probably see this on streaming as well. So let me know if you do see it and let's talk about it in the comments or in the playback. And I'm going to move on to the next film that's released today. And we have a romantic comedy, I believe, that's out today too. It's the funniest date movie of the year, it says here. Um, the Broken Hearts Gallery. So um, this film is out today. Again, I have it uh, d uh, links in the description below for IMDb links in the description below for this film so you can learn more about it learn about the filmmakers learn about the actors and everything like that as well so it's out on blu-ray so you can check that out give me one second Sorry, I'm just making sure my kid is good. Um, so this film's out today. 
please hit in the description below um, the IMDb links and you could check that out. Oh, and quickly just seeing here on, um, on live chat, like I said, I do give a shout out towards the end of this video, um, at the end of this video, actually, uh, when I introduce, um, um, my upcoming unboxing videos and stuff like that. And I do, uh, give a shout out to everybody on live chat. So I see Matt Dragon on here. Um, so I will read all these things on here. I'm, I'm seeing that you're commenting a lot. Thank you so much, Matt, uh, uh Dragon. Um, and I'm gonna, I'll read all those, uh, comments at the end of this video. Okay, man. Um, and give everybody else a chance to say something too as well. So I'm going to move on to the next film here and this film here, um, kind of throwback for me, Pokemon, uh, being, uh, when I was younger and everything like that with the cards and all that, but this is a 3d animated, uh, film version. It looked like from what I saw when we watched it, me and my son watched it on, on Netflix cause it's a Netflix film. Um, U2 Strikes Back Evolution, The Legend of Returns. So this is very much um, reminiscent to the storyline or the backstory of a Detective Pikachu uh, without the layer of Detective Pikachu. It's just um, U2, I believe Ash Ketchum is in this, uh, in this film as well. Um, I don't remember too much. It wasn't, um, I, I believe maybe I have grown out of Pokemon or something. Um, but uh, the film wasn't um, to my liking a lot. I, I guess I did like uh, Detective Pikachu, Pikachu a little bit. Um, uh, not so much the whole Ryan Reynolds thing, I guess, at the end. But um, I do love um, the, uh, the love for uh, Pokemon and all the characters in live action. I think the live action thing was huge for me, and I, and I thought that was big. Um, now being an adult and everything, um, so I kind of just can't get into this one my son didn't get into it either so i'm just kind of <laughs> uh we just just kind of just like haven't really watched it at all <laughs> lately but it's very good i mean um let me know in the comments below if you have seen this and what are your thoughts I don't, I'm, I'm really sorry for butchering this film i don't mean to butcher it but uh, i do have a back end here like a the back part of this blu-ray but there are no special features since it's a streaming uh, film uh, so um, expect that as well. Uh, but let me know in the comments below or in the live chat if you have seen uh, this movie or, or what your thoughts are. And uh, if you're looking to purchase it on Blu-ray too. So let's move on to our next film. Because we have another um, 2020 release uh, today too. And it has a uh, Maggie Q. And Maggie Q has a couple of shows. I know she was like a, a villain in Live Free or Die Hard. And she was just in a bunch of movies. Uh, I believe that she was in uh, Mission Impossible 3 as well as a character too on there. She does have a TV show out as well. And this is her movie, Death of Me. And it's out today. So you can check it out on Blu-ray and digital. And it's in the description below where I have an IMDb link where you can check out um, the trailer, check out all the filmmakers and everything like that for this film. I do not have a back part of this one uh, here, and I don't believe there could be any special features as well. So I'm going to move on to our next one, and our next film is called Summerland. Summerland is also released today on Blu-ray, and it has. Uh, I do have a, in the description below, I have everything you see here, IMDb links in the description below. This is an independent film channel um, releasing. This is the second one for today. Um, so this seems more, it says love, magic, and hope. So this is a little bit more of, um, um, I believe, uh, an uplifting type movie uh, when it comes to maybe a love film. I don't think it's a love film. I think it's more of an uplifting type film. So check it out for yourself in the description below i have an imdb link and you could watch the trailer all right and it has Gemma arteton i believe she was a, in a, a james bond movie a long time ago and many other movies too um like uh what was it the hansel and gretel um versus vampires <laughs> shout outs to that film um so moving on from that we're gonna move on to our next film which is a horror film it's called the last laugh I believe the the cover is really cool. It has this green and purple thing. I think uh, that could be something I could try to like incorporate in my uh, in my channel. Maybe even a set when I do a set. Um, have a set in the background or something. 
uh, and change it up a little bit. So let me know if you guys think that's interesting too. Um, but this film is out today, The Last Laugh. So let me know in the comments below um, if you're looking to check it out. If you have checked it out, if you have checked it out and you think it's very good, let everybody know. Um, in the description below, I have IMDb links for this film as well. Uh, for every one of these movies, even these obscure films that you've never heard of, they have IMDb links. And I even have an IMDb link for my documentary. It's not that hard if you get into festivals and everything like that to get into IMDb. So um, definitely check that out. And if you're inter if you're interested in any of that kind of stuff, marketing stuff or anything when it, when it comes to like independent filmmaking, let me know in the comments of this video or any video here on this channel. Um, and I'm very very open to that and teaching filmmaking, especially through Blu-ray and uh, independent um, films and their. Um, uh, special features behind the scenes special features and so on and documentaries and stuff like that so i'm going to move on to the next one and this is more of like an action film this is called pay dirt and pay dirt with val kilmer has an imdb link in the description below as well you can check out uh, the trailer for this film as well uh, i don't think this is a, a lionsgate releasing or anything like that but it looks like a action film um, for today, so this is really good. It is really good today for a bunch of different type of genres, especially when it comes to new movies. So our next one is more of an independent releasing. It's called The Runaways, about these uh, three children uh, that run away from home. Um, check it out in the description below. Let me know what your thoughts are. Um, you could check out the filmmakers. Um, you could check out uh, the trailer and everything like that through IM IMDb in the description below. There's a link. So you can check that out there. Uh, and we move on to our next one. I'm trying to, I guess, go through these fairly quick. There's um, a good amount of, like, a lot. Trust me. We got a lot more to go through. <laughs> so this is Bad Men from a Melting Moon. So uh, Bad Men from a Melting Moon is out today on Blu-ray. Again, like I said, all these independent films are always good to check out. And you check out on IMDb their, their trailers and uh, check out the filmmakers. And you, um, me doing this, I like to give people exposure that don't get a lot of exposure when it comes to these Blu-ray releasings. Um, I myself, um, even uh, just getting distribution is hard. Um, I myself getting these releases on Amazon Prime is a huge deal. I'm over here trying to work on getting a VOD release as well for my documentary down the line. Um, but it premiered now on Amazon Prime and um, I'm really grateful at that. And I know this person here and many others here on uh, getting their distribution through uh, Blu-ray is a big deal as well. So I always want to do that and showcase that here on this channel and, and just try to make it a little different than every other uh, Blu-ray uh, um, news uh, release or something like that. I know one guy I believe does like a monthly thing. Um, many others do like a weekly thing. Um, but uh, I'm doing a weekly thing live, uh, not only to give you guys shout outs out there, but also these filmmakers here um, and get showcased so they can get showcased here on my channel and and just get showcased in general for making a film and getting it this far. So it's a big deal, it just getting distribution. Uh, you can ask any filmmaker. Uh, so let me know in the live chat or in the comments below if you feel that and that's uh, something that's uh, reminiscent to you as a filmmaker and as a creative as well. So this is out now. Bad Men from A Melting Moon is out now on Blu-ray. So check it out in the description below. You can see the IMDb link and all that and find out where um, you could stream it or uh, purchase it um, on Amazon or something on Blu-ray. So let me know if you do check it out. Let me know your thoughts. So we're going to move on to Nomad, which is our first of, of the documentary films. Again, like my film is not a documentary. I try to introduce any movie that is released on Blu-ray and or um, and or DVD. Obviously, this is the DVD cover. Um, I don't have the Blu-ray cover here for this uh, film. Um, I'm sure it's out there, but the Blu-ray is out as well. Um, this is a documentary. Again, when it comes to independent films, sometimes you don't get all the information that you would like from that film. So this is one of them where I only have the DVD cover for this film. So I'm going to move on to our next documentary, 
And again, everything I have here is in the description below, uh, have IMDB links in the description below. So um, here is the truth. Truth is the, the only client. So this has to do, I think it has a longer title than this. Um, but it's out on Blu-ray as well. It's called Truth is the Only Client, the official investigation of the murder of John F. Kennedy. So very, very cool. It looks like um, it has something to do with the Cuban Missile Crisis too, and, and all that in history. So if you like that, it's out today on Blu-ray and in the description below, you can check out the trailer through IMDb, IMDb or uh, check out the filmmakers that made this film as well. Uh, so moving on to our next documentary, I'm quite excited for, and I'm going to be looking for this on streaming somehow, some way, maybe on Amazon Prime. Um, but this next one here, I'm sure if you grew up in the 90s, you know about Nickelodeon. So this is called The Orange Years, The Nickelodeon Story. So it has everybody that's ever been on a Nickelodeon show in the 90s, in the early 90s. And they're talking about how uh, they created Nickelodeon to be the exact opposite of Disney. Since Disney on, um, on cable was the only um, kids channel thriving, um, Nickelodeon strived on trying to be totally different and um, just do the most kid stuff that you can do that kids would just be shocked that you're even getting away with this kind of stuff on TV. Uh, with slime and everything going on in it, please check this out. Even either in uh, on streaming or purchase it on Blu-ray. Um, check it out on IMDb. This is perfect for any filmmaker and any anybody interested in in Nickelodeon and love the history of Nickelodeon as well, like I do, and grew up with Nickelodeon, um, like all of us have as well. Um, so uh, I hope they talk about. Um, uh, the Universal um, Nickelodeon thing and everything at Universal Studios in Orlando uh, because they used to film a lot of their uh, Nickelodeon shows there uh, when it comes to uh, their Slime Time Live and all that stuff. So um, I'm really hoping um, they talk about that because uh, that was a big deal not only to me and many uh, uh, 90s kids out there as well. So check it out in the description below. You can check out the IMDb link and try and find out where it's out and let's talk about it let me know hit me up in the comments or in the live chat or anywhere on this channel and we could talk about this documentary very very cool like i said you could learn about this as a filmmaker just learning how uh, they created a whole channel you know just creating a whole channel this can help even um youtube channel creators as well to uh, kind of think outside of the box or just to realize that even though you have a channel on YouTube doesn't mean that you're not a broadcasting channel now and uh, you are a broadcasting channel a brand of broadcasting uh, whatever it is you're broadcasting like on broadcasting blu-ray releases every week and uh, doing unboxings talking about filmmaking um, uh, topics with these blu-rays so that's how I'm different and then I'm broadcasting through that I'm also a filmmaker too so I do a lot of my own stuff on the side so that helps as well it just kind of fuels the whole filmmaking uh, tips thing going on on this channel so uh, let me know anywhere in the comments if you're interested in that kind of stuff and if you like this documentary let me know in the comments below as well so I'm going to move on to our next uh, feature film that's out and this is a fiction film so we're back on our fiction films um, this is called Checkmate and it's an independent film that's out today as well and I have IMDB links in the description below and then we're going to move on now, and this is fairly quick, I guess, on to We Are Little Zombies. Um, this is an overseas releasing, too. I've seen the trailer of this one. It really stood out the way the trailer came out about these kids and everything. I, I believe it's a, it's a, a school-type uh, kids, uh, maybe drama-type film. Um, but it was very, very well done creatively, editing, um, just the whole everything, directing, um, and and staging and just all that that they have here uh, I, I wouldn't say like art direction but it's just like as far as staging and and just the way they directed the film is is really really different so check it out in the description below you can check out the imdb links and the trailer that i saw it was really really cool so check it out in the description below um and we're going to move on to our next film and our next film here is light years um i believe this is like some type of psychedelic thing where 
uh, somebody is out in the desert or something um, and uh, goes to kind of find themselves, I believe. I forget what it was exactly. Um, I did see the trailer in the IMDb um, link is in the description below. And uh, actually, I'm going to go and look this one up fairly quickly. Um, because I know it was something um, simple. It was something simple enough, but eh. Um, it, 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 just find it, I guess, in the description below. Just check it out. Um, let everybody know if you did actually like this film. This is actually a fiction film, so you can check it out in the description below. It's out today. So I guess I'm kind of like going over it because uh, IMDb crapped out on me. I was trying to play something else. Um, so I'm going to move on to our next one, too, um, which has a very, very good review on Rotten Tomatoes, too. And it's an independent, it's an independent film. It's called Cicada Song. So for me, it's very difficult, and for a lot of filmmakers, very difficult to uh, get um, anybody from Rotten Tomatoes, including just one critic from Rotten Tomatoes, uh, to uh, agree to at least give you a rating um, for your film, you know, and this is really cool that they can have this on their Blu-ray, so they're out today on Blu-ray um, with um, uh, the with uh, their independent film so you can check it out in the description below you can check out the trailer and uh, check out the filmmakers as well so I'm gonna move on to the next film and our next film is um, is this a film or a documentary wow these there's so many today I really I really did not remember some of these Wow okay so Ghosts of the Re of the Republic. Republic, I think, something like that. Ghost of the Republic, and uh, it follows. Aurelian, Aurelian and Nicholas, who, when confronted by Francis, uh, conservative uh, surrogacy laws, decide to exhaust their last option by traveling uh, to Las uh, Vegas to start, I guess, to start their, their a family. Oh, wow. So this is definitely a documentary. So this is a documentary, too as well so you can check that out in the description below um and let me see light years again since i'm doing this it's so embarrassing sorry everybody okay there we go so light years is an adventure it says um a 30 something man goes on an annual cosmic vision uh let me go back here and show that so i'm going back to this one um light years to explain what this is about a 30 something man goes on an annual cosmic vision quest to visit a dead friend um but a but a stick gets stuck in the spokes of his psychedelia and, and in every face, friends and family alike. So, yeah, he goes through um, a lot of emotional turmoil. It says a, an adventure film. I, it looks like um, a, a documentary. So I believe this is also a, uh, a documentary um, as well. So those two between Ghosts, Republic, and Light Years, uh, Republic, uh, they're also um, uh, both documentaries. So here's the Ghosts of Republic, Republic, I think. Um, I'm saying it totally wrong, I believe. And we're going to move on and we're going to go into television uh, right now before we get into our Criterion uh, release as well. So um, going into our TV release, we have season three of Westworld. And usually 
I know everybody knows that I don't do television usually on this channel. Um, but when I do cover television, it's usually something that I'm uh, highly uh, interested in or a huge fan of. And I'm a huge fan of Westworld. And I think I've said that before here with... Um, with uh, the second season releasing as well. I think I have done the second season on here. Um, so this is the Blu-ray cover, and then we also have the 4K slip cover. All right, well, this is the 4K cover. And then uh, we also have a Steelbook uh, cover as well um, from Best Buy. So I'll show that collectible steelbook case, which is really, really cool, and we can check it out inside as well. Um, I don't know any of the special features that are included in this. I looked really hard for it. Um, it wasn't here, kind of like the second season totally had it, but this season doesn't have the special features at least open for us to uh, show it off today. Um, so I'm expecting a lot of really like... Um, uh, um, I'm a big fan of HBO, so HBO tends to do a lot of little special features after every episode, which they did on this season, and they did it very much so. And this third season, very different uh, from uh, the second and, and first season. The second one could get very confusing, so it's good to have those special features that talk about the story, um, but they have a lot of like in between the line, or reading in between the lines type of stuff for filmmaking tech and filmmaking tips and all that stuff um, within these, uh, talking about the story, talking about each episode and all that. And they do that here with Westworld Season 3 as well, so you can check it out. It's called uh, Season 3, The New World. So they, check a, uh, they show a lot about the world of... Um, of Westworld outside of the parks, which was really, really cool. And um, I think this steelbook case is amazing. Um, opening it up here, you could see the back end here. Um, I'm just flipping it around like this right now. I should have showed the inside first, but um, and I, that's how I usually do it. But uh, here you see up on the top, you see on the, the edges for the lip, you see it just like it looks chrome. Really cool, really, really cool with the chrome and the white um, steelbook case. I might even like get these all in steelbook. I wish, I wish I can get them all in steelbook, all the seasons. That would be super cool. So I'm um, fading in here, the, put uh, the the inside of it so you can see the the the, the design. This is the building um, where um, a lot of the main characters coming from uh, the the park or something uh, start working out of and stuff like that. They show off a certain robot here and stuff like that. But very very cool location. Um, this is a location that's actually overseas and it's a real location. Uh, so check it out. All that stuff away in the background is not necessarily real. It's um, I think it's uh, all part of uh, the world they're building and stuff like that all digitally um, for this future world. So we're going to move on and we're going to move on to our um, Criterion Collection releasing today. And today we have Ghost Dog, The Way of the Samurai. Uh, Samurai. It's a Jim Jarmusch film. And he's a very big filmmaker in the independent filmmaking world, especially in the 90s. This film is very, very big. And for Forrest Whitaker, um, having this coming out on Criterion Collection is very, very amazing. And it's something that uh, should definitely be talked about uh, constantly. And that's why we're talking about it today, because I believe it's very educational. Um, Rizza's in this movie, too. He has a score uh, done by Riza as well on this Jim Jarmusch uh, film. Uh, so very, very exciting. So I'm going to scroll here. We're going to we're going to check out the the IMDb website, actually. I'm going to fade it in here so we can look at the special features. Um, checking out independent films, especially older independent films shot on film. Um, it's great to see what kind of things uh, they had to um, um, get around when it came to making their film. Um, they don't have um, uh, the technical... Um, um, it's not easy technically like it is nowadays as it was back then, um, if you understand what I'm getting at. I'm sure that makes sense because <laughs> I really thought about how I was saying that. Um, so in the 90s, when they were shooting film and they were shooting all these movies on film um they were lucky enough to get perfectly 
perfectly um, exposed film on every one of their shots for their feature film, let alone um, uh, recording sound perfectly as well. Um, even Clerks had to go through with that. A bunch of movies had a lot of problems with that. The movie Following, which was directed by uh, Christopher Nolan as well, which is also on Criterion Collection. And this is what I love about Criterion Collection. They go um, through, uh, they go through the ends of the earth trying to find all this information about the film, about these independent film, and they include it all together in the Criterion Collection, and it's beautifully done. So here we now only have the 4K, new 4K digitally restore, uh, restoration for, of the film in here. We also have 5.1 audio, uh, restoration, I believe in this, uh, master audio in this on this Blu-ray, and then we have alternate isolated stereo music track very cool so i guess you could watch the movie right i guess you could watch the movie just with the music track very awesome um new commentary it was a, a not commentary a q a with jarmish in uh in which he responds to questions sent to in by fans awesome very cool so fans over the years have sent him stuff so i guess he is answering that so i'm thinking this is specifically shot for Criterion Collection. Very, very cool. And something very worth purchasing uh, this uh, Criterion Collection just for that. So, um, new conversation between actors Forrest Whitaker and the filmmakers. Uh, oh, uh, Isaac, um, right, with Isaac, and then moderated by uh, film scholar uh, Michael B. Gillespie, Gillespie I believe. I uh, could be saying that wrong. Let me know in the comments below if I could be saying that wrong. A new interview with the casting director, Ellen Lewis. Um, probably... Okay, no screaming, please. Thank you. Um, I believe that um, they're going to talk about casting Forrest Whitaker, finding Forrest Whitaker for this film in 1990, uh, probably in 98 when they were trying to get it ready for 99, uh, the release in 99. Um uh, this other thing here, I see another new interview too, and then I see Flying Birds, the music of Ghost Dog, a new video essay on RZA's score by filmmaker Daniel Rain. Awesome. This is going to be very, very cool and worth purchasing this Criterion Collection just for this documentary alone. Between this and the other, um, with uh, the alternate isolated track and and uh, new comment uh, Q and A's with the director. I mean, these is th this is th the type of stuff that you want coming from an independent film like this that was strictly just trying to get a distribution because that's what you got to focus on. Sometimes just trying to get it distributed is everything. Um, you know, special features and all that that comes with. Um, having a big budget or a huge marketing plan from, you know, from conception of your film. So moving on, the next thing I see here is the Odyssey, a journey into the life of a samurai, 2000, a 2000 programming um, back in 2000 on the making of the film. Very, very cool. So this is something that was taken from a programming on TV back in 2000 that they uh, explore the film. Uh, so there's your making of right there. So they're definitely going to go into detail of how they made the film and everything like that. So again, another great thing for independent filmmakers to check out, see how this movie was made, see how this movie was released, see how this movie got it, everything together. So uh, with that, all that being said, obviously there's deleted scenes and outtakes. And like I say that all the time when it comes to every film with deleted scenes, you know, there are um, scenes cut out of uh, the film that didn't propel the story forward. So that's uh, I'm always trying to say that and keep that, um, you know, words words like that and just just be consistent with that. So you're constantly learning them, and uh, it'll just kind of stick in the background back there as well for all of you and for all of me as well. I love talking about filmmaking. So archival interviews as well. So more interviews, um, trailers. Uh, English subtitles, and then plus essays by cri uh, critics here as well. So you can check all that out. It comes with the IMDb, um, um, the <laughs> IMDb, the the Criterion Collection for Ghost Dog, The Way of the Samurai. So let me just uh, play a little bit here. So this film, I really, really highly recommend this film. Um, I believe uh, the actor, uh, the direct, what am I talking about? The, the, the character here, that Forrest Whitaker plays Ghost Dog. Um, he had um, some things in uh, um, 
in his backstory, I believe he could have been like a hitman or something like that. And um, he's changing his life. So, whoa. So, oh, sorry about that. So um, he, he's changing his life and everything like that. So he, um, for the better and for the good. So this guy's, oh, you see, whoa. So I guess he learns stuff from this man too, maybe. Oh, he protected himself. He wanted to protect that guy, I guess, in there. So um, definitely uh, one to check out, independent film that uh, has a great message and great story here of um, internal internal peace and, uh, um, and stuff like that. Just like everything that has to do with uh, samurai and, and just uh, being a better version of yourself um, and having patience and, and everything for people and stuff. There's a lot of things within the samurai culture that's uh, very reminiscent to that and, uh, and, and spiritual. So I uh, highly recommend this film. And sometimes you got to get a little spiritual when it comes to um, your own films as well. Just talking about independent filmmaking alone. So uh, with all about that being said, we're going to move on here. I'm going to put myself on here uh, real quick. Like I said, I do have these t-shirts. I do have um, a bunch of uh, sweaters too for Corazon de Cuba, for green light and all that stuff. We have some videos coming out um, by this Friday, so I'm expecting um, the New Mutants um, Blu-ray of mine to come out this Friday. So I'm hoping I could do an unboxing for that this Friday. So hopefully expect that. So hit the subscribe button, hit the like button on this video. It really helps us out on this channel. And if not, um, um, we still have another unboxing, which is going to be the Sicario unboxing for this Friday. Um, and then... Starting next week, I will be doing the Spider-Man stuff. So I'll do the Spider-Man trilogy and then uh, Venom following the week after that. So uh, with all that being said, I'll see you here this Friday with one of these unboxings. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you know about this stuff every week that we do. And then you know about these videos beforehand so you can jump on these uh, giveaways uh, for the movie code giveaways. So thank you for joining me here and being patient on my channel as well. And I'm going to do a quick um, shout outs to everybody on the live chat. Um, it looks like Matt Dragon really went ham here on this uh on this episode today hello and hope all is well with you my friend it is thank you very much um we do these things live all the time like this so i forgive um um all the surrounding noises and stuff like that and i get and i got a little distracted today with my son but he was good i just making sure he had his food and everything he needed and his pad pad and stuff like that and all that so it was just kind of like um, we call the the iPad the pad pad and stuff. So thank you, Mad Dragon, for being here. I see, um, yeah, the Lego Star Wars on Disney Plus. Yes, it is. It's out today. So that's out today on streaming today, and we watched it, and we, um, my son really enjoyed it, and everything went to do with Christmas anyway. So Christmas and Legos was a big deal, and then it got him into Star Wars. It seems like the Lego Star Wars. He's not really into Star Wars whatsoever. So this is really interesting that he likes this like this. So. Mad Dragon, thank you. You said a lot of things here. Um, so um, shout outs to you. Thank you for even joining me on this channel. And I'm just going to let everybody go here because we're pressing on um, uh, to a pretty long episode uh, today. And it's pressing on already 56, going on to 57 minutes in the next 30 seconds. So thank you um, for everybody. Hit the notification bell. Hit the like button if you, uh, if you like this. I mean, if hit the like button. Help me. If you like me, you like what we do here, um, I really appreciate it. And I'll see you here n this Friday for one of these unboxings, either the New Mutants or Sicario. So let me know in the comments below um, if you like that kind of stuff. And uh, we'll keep bringing it on. I'll keep bringing it on.